After an early venture as a winemaker, Californian entrepreneur Ray Walker imagined a bourbon brand that would appeal to a new generation, a brand featuring visually appealing bottle designs that are a fusion of color and beauty. I felt with my unique background, I could come into bourbon and do something that was unique, uh, that I could focus on beauty and aesthetics and refinement and subtlety and nuance and art and, um, and sexiness, right? I mean, people like sex, right? Why not have a bourbon that, that does those things? I knew coming into it that I could provide something that was going to be unique. Um, and I didn't know how successful it would be, but I knew that I'd be true to myself. Ray's vision of merging artistic elements with excellent bourbon resonated with Jeff Hopmeyer, founder of the Brindiamo Group, one of the largest bulk bourbon and whiskey suppliers in the world. I really didn't know the first thing about St. Cloud. And even before Ray called me, uh, I was in a liquor store and I saw one of the bottles and I thought it was beautiful and I bought it without knowing what it was. Um, so I actually have now three bottles uh, on different bars because I thought the bottle was just so great. What, what Ray has done, and you may have heard it before, is you know he has really packaged art and bourbon in this package, in the bottle, in limited editions that make it highly collectible, hard to find, and just something that you want to hang on your wall. While the creative aspects of the St. Cloud brand are original, it's the taste of the bourbon itself that creates loyal customers. And that's why James Hewlett of the Brindiamo Group is the man to call. I am really charged with finding solutions for liquid sourcing for our clients, finding them the best liquid, you know, for the best price uh, when they need it. Um, and that's, that's really my focus. So if you don't have the liquid, you can't put the bottles on the shelves. If you don't pay for the glass, you can't get the bottles to put fill on the shelves. So there's lots of, uh, I guess, dancing on the head of a pin that happens with uh, lots of these people that may or may not come to us. And we just try to guide them in the most, the, the highest and best use of their capital to be able to get to wherever they need to be. It can be very difficult. It's a tight market. Um, there are not a lot of opportunities, particularly on the age side, uh, to get the best liquid into the bottle for these brands. Um, it's becoming harder and harder. And so it's, it's really a lot of fun to connect them with the things they need and be a part of that solution. I bugged James for about a, for about a month. And um, as it worked out, uh, he told me he had some bourbon. Uh, he sent me a couple of samples on things that, um, that I thought were good. But I was always curious, um, and I always do that. It's like I try something good, I want to try something better. Once I try the better, I want to have something great. When it's great, I want to try something wonderful. James knew where I was going. And so he, um, he sent me out some samples that I just fell in love with. And that was really um, the official start of the relationship with St. Cloud and Brindiamo. I think Ray, because each one of his releases is, is limited, he is certainly looking to appeal to the collector. Um, in addition to that, though, I think he's really targeting a younger audience who doesn't want to feel like they're drinking their grandfather's whiskey. Um, I wanted people to feel emotion when they were looking at the brand, when they were holding a bottle, when they were speaking the name St. Cloud, I wanted it to resonate with them. Um, I wanted there to be a feeling that they had when, um, when looking at the bottle, when drinking the bourbon, I wanted people to feel something. He has done a magnificent job in hitting it on all of those points. And uh, enough of a job, it convinced me to go pay full retail for it, right? To buy those bottles. So they had to be something, I would say, exceptional, knowing I'm in the space and, and, and understand it. And, and he's just, I think, very meticulous as to how he puts it together, what he wants it to look like, 
what the connection to the art is and how to make it beautiful on a bottle, and he does it. Well, his brand is so cool, it's so unique. It's a really modern twist on what you know Kentucky bourbon can be, particularly highly aged. And so it was really fun to work with him on such a unique product um, and, and help him find the right liquid to go in the bottle. And it, the, the end product is, is just gorgeous, um, inside and out. I, I think that there's just a lot of um, potential there for a company that just focuses on beauty. That's pretty much the, the reason of being for St. Cloud.